In this Google Domains tutorial, I'm going to buy a domain live on video and show you how you can use Google Domains. So first what you want to do is go to domains.google. You can get here by typing in domains.google or alternatively go to Google and just search for Google Domains. Once you've made that search, it should then be the first one here. You can see domains.google and that will take you to this page. Now what you first need to do is log in with your Google account. Now you're probably already logged in because you use other Google's tools. So you can go ahead here where it says search for your new domain. So I'm going to register www.bradleyharrison.com. That's my name and it's just became available. So I'm going to go ahead and click here where it says get it. And it's going to then show me a list of domains. It's going to tell me if they're available and what other extensions I can get. So you can see the exact match domain for me is available, bradleyharrison.com. Now, if I wasn't set on .com and I just wanted to see what was available, I could just enter it without an extension and it will tell me all of the different extensions which are available, which include uk.co.uk, .dev and so on. And some of these, you know, they're different prices. So you can choose one which works for you. Now, if you go to all endings, you can get all of the like really unique endings like XYZ and stuff like that and um, you can go ahead and filter through these for me though I'm going to register bradleyharrison.com and I recommend when you're choosing a domain name choose one with the domain uh, choose one with the .com available if you don't have a domain name that's got the .com I'd recommend changing it in a slight way so you can get the .com domain name because Google favors .com domains if you're trying to rank in the YouTube search engines, YouTube is always going to favor a .com over other domains. The second best is going to be .net and also .co.uk is also good as well. Okay, so if I wanted to buy this, I would then add it to the cart. And you can see I'm already logged in with my Google account, as you can see up in the top right hand corner. So now I've added this domain to the cart. I'm now going to view the cart and we can now go through the process of actually buying it. So privacy protection is on by default and you want to keep this on because it means people can't do a who is lockup and check who owns your domain. It hides your address, your privacy, your phone number and everything like that. So keep that on. I'm going to keep auto renew on, but if you choose to, you can turn it off. Are you just going to then have to manually renew your domain? So don't forget if you do choose to have this off. So then scrolling down, it's going to ask you if you want a custom email. Um, for £6 a month, I'm not going to take this offer. So for today, all I have to pay is $10. So I can go ahead and then check out. So then it should already have your contact information from Google. So what you can do is you can scroll down and you can pay with Google Pay or PayPal. Alternatively, you can add a credit or debit card. I'm going to pay though with PayPal and we can just click buy here. And that should then open up a PayPal window. Okay, so now that payment's gone through and it was very quick. I've now got this domain available, bradleyharrison.com. Here's privacy protection turned on. Here is when it renews. Now to get to your domains in the future, if you just go to domains.google, it will take you to this page here and you'll be on the My Domains section and here you can see all of your domains. Now you can just click on the domain you want, go to Manage and you can go then into the back end of your domain change things like the DNS, the registration settings, and forward this to WordPress hosting or whatever you want to do with this domain, you can do in the back end here.